Hey guys, Mark Lalonde, a.k.a. The Wealthy Trainer, coming to you from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Okay, here's the deal today. I got interviewed by Jackson Kelly about a week ago on Friday Night Live, and I dropped some gold nuggets there that I haven't really dropped in public yet, or even within MLSP, I kind of revealed my secret weapon. So here's stuff that you'll, if you want to stick around and see the interview, here's stuff that I share. Um, basically, how I get over 100 leads a day, which actually is not that hard to do, to be honest with you. I don't even blog. I don't even have videos, except for a few like this here. But uh, I use Instagram, I use Facebook, and I use Twitter. Pretty much, pretty much automate the whole lead thing. So that's not the most important thing, and that's kind of what I reveal. The conversions are the most important thing. Now, I don't want this to be training right here, but what I want to tell you is that in this interview, I kind of share a little bit about my story that awakened my giant inside. Part of the story that I never really shared before in detail. So you'll get a little bit of the unrated story, the unrated version, and to why I kind of, when I set my mind to something, I kind of just get her done. And I mean, I'm going to share with you my weapon. It's five steps. Really quick, the steps are basically how I generate leads from scratch. Number two, how I call those leads, the whole follow-up process. Number three, how I send information to those leads, exactly how I do that. Number four, how I call those leads a second time. And number five, how I convert those leads into either my MLM, number one, into MLSP, number two, or if, if none of those work for the person, I'll put them in my list and build a strong relationship. So without further ado, stick around to watch part one of the interview, which is uh, me, Jackson Kelly, Christy Kelly on Friday Night Live. Hope you enjoyed, guys. It's Friday night. You guys know what time it is. It's time for Friday Night Live. Our special guest tonight, Mark Lalone. Mark's going to come out. This is going to be a great time, guys. Welcome to Friday Night Live. I see familiar faces. Love you guys. Bill Moore's in the house. Bob Miller. Chris Schaus. Renee, welcome. Glad to see you at Friday Night Live. It's a pleasure. Come on in, you guys. Mark's going to be with us a minute, and uh, we're going to have ourselves a good time. And my fashionably late co-host and lovely wife, who you know and love, Christy, has just joined the scene. She's going to come out here tonight and say hi to us mid fashionably late. Oh, you girls, you have all the luck. I hope you've had a great week. We're going to have some fun tonight, and we're going to get some goodies. I mean some real goodies. Change your whole marketing upside down. Tonight on Friday Night Live, come in and have a seat. Heath LaBox, welcome. Whitman Abel, the barbecue king. The man's a judge. He barbecues. We love him. He'll barbecue your uh, marketing. <laughs> and there's Christy. Welcome, Christy. You look marvelous. Thank you. You guys do, too. And I know you all do out there in Friday Night Live land. Mwah. Happy Friday. <laughs> Friday Night Live land. I love it. Hey, listen, you guys, um, uh, welcome. Glad you're here. Uh, if you're just pulling in, have a uh, get comfortable. It's Friday night. Uh, we've all had a good work week, and uh, the work is never done uh, around here, is it? Um, we had a uh, we had a crazy storm thing going on, uh, but it's passed. So God is good. 
Um, so we're not worried about that anymore. Just like they went completely around us. They said they were coming for us, but uh, but they missed us, and now it's a, a nice, uh, calm day. Hey, listen, but enough about that. Let's get to the man of the hour. Um, you know what, you guys? Uh, in this space, in this community uh, that we all kind of hang out in, it's nice to come to a place where everybody can put their guns in a drawer, throw them away, take off their badges, and just everybody be real for a minute as a community and uh, know that we're not going to have to put up our deflector shields. We're here to learn. We're here to get some value, and we're here to meet some people uh, that decided to, you know, take the bull by the horns and, um, and just uh, absolutely, uh, you know, take something at its word and just run with it. And that's the familiar uh, piece, MLSP, that we all uh, know and love. And if you don't, uh, you will. Don't worry about it. Um, and, uh, and he's done it in a way. Uh, and I, I had a chance to sit down and speak with Mark uh, this week. And I'm going to tell you something. Do yourself a favor. Get to know this guy. He's, uh, he's a genuine item. He's a genuine Canadian item, you know. So we love him anyways. Just kidding, Mark. Um, he's a great guy. The guy made uh, his first million dollars by the time he was 23 years old. You heard me right. By the time he was 23 years old, uh, Mark had accumulated a cool mill, and he's got a great story. He's got a big heart, and if you know Mark, uh, like I've had the pleasure of getting to know him uh, this week, uh, you find out that he is just an awesome guy and his heart is poised in helping people. Uh, if you want a guy on your side uh, in marketing just uh, as, a, as a, a, a friend and a fellow marketer who, uh, who puts it to the ground every single day, you'll find no better than who I like to call uh, Mark the lead machine Lalone. And uh, I'm going to let Mark come out and say hi. Mark, come on out here, brother. We are so freaking happy to have you on Friday Night Live. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Lone. Not clapping anymore. Hi, everyone. <laughs> there he is. How's it going, guys? It's going great. How are you? Mark, have you met my lovely wife, Christy, yet? Hi, Christy. How are you? Hey, Mark. It's an honor to meet you. Thank you Thank so you. much for being on our show. It's awesome. You guys are totally laid back. And for everyone watching, careful what you will tell Jackson here. It reminds me of Brian Finale a little. <laughs> no one really knows about my candle company where I made my first cool mill. But, yeah, since the cat's out of the bag, yeah. You got me off guard there, buddy. I didn't think we were going that far back. But, uh, yeah, it's awesome to be here. Usually. Well, you know, usually, Mark, Mark, real quick, I'll just have yeah. to interject. Because the yeah. Friday Night Live crew knows you just haven't uh, been schooled yet. After one hour of indoctrination, you're going to be just fine. <laughs> I'm good. I am good, my friend. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I'm going to give you guys some gold here that I haven't given to MLSP. So you guys are going to get some dirty little secrets that will actually give you guys all the unfair advantage. And I'm not kidding. So I'm going to throw the ball back to you, my friend. This is laid back. I, I, I'll just say that I'm used to being called into interviews for strategy, strategy, strategy. How do you do this, Mark? How do you do that? So I love, I love the scene. I love the music. You were meant to be on TV, my friend. You really were. I mean, I've had some, I've had some Hollywood friends throughout my, throughout my years as an entrepreneur, and I'm telling you, you were meant for the, you were meant for the. For the screen, you were. You got the personality, buddy. That's, you got to stop. I'm going to start getting as red as the carpet behind you, Mark. <laughs> that's just that's just about enough. But you know what? Thank you very much. I uh, that's that's very kind of you. And uh, um, you know, we are all on pins and needles because, as I learned this week uh, from sitting down with you, uh, this is a serious guy. Um, and uh, he, uh, you know, like we all uh, have, you know, we've had our ups and downs. If you're an entrepreneur and you haven't had any ups and downs, well, we don't, we don't like you much. <laughs> mm -hmm. but, 
<laughs> but we'll still rub brands. <laughs> but uh, anyway, seriously, um, uh, the, he, Mark's got a lot of goodies for us. Mark, uh, glad you're here. This is how we do it. it it's just a, it's a place where, uh, like I said, people can take off their guns and uh, hang them on the wall, and we all just come in as business professionals and uh, share our stories. And we have a unique situation here because we have a lot of great people, just like yourself, who volunteer their time to come to us because they have a true heart to give to the people. Mark didn't come with a silver spoon in his mouth. Uh, folks, and uh, he certainly has not had a red carpet ride, but I will tell you this, you heard it first on Friday Night Live, uh, watch this cat, because he's a soul man, believe it. Um, and so Mark, tell us a little bit, if you don't mind, a little bit about, um, you know, just the, the, the Reader's Digest version of, uh, of of what you want us to know about Mark and why Mark is in this space, uh, I think everybody would absolutely love uh, to get to know you just a little bit better tonight. Awesome. Um, I'll give you the a little less rated than I normally would because it is Friday Night Live after all, right? You guys yes, have safe, probably man. heard my standard story. Mark Lalone works for the government as a computer programmer gets stressed out, gets rock bottom, bounces back in network marketing, and is doing well today. That's the version you guys usually hear, right? That's, that's what's out there. Um, I think this, the one I'll share with you tonight, is a little rated, uh, a little unra unrated, I should say, but I'm not giving you the full unrated version, obviously. I'll be here for five days. Well, so we, already, just... we, are, we already knew that, Mark, because you had your shirt on. So, keep <laughs> <laughs> family safe. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, we won't. We ask Diane Hawkman about me, about my, my work attire. Diane Hawkman wants, you guys who know, you guys should all know who Diane Hawkman is. She was asking for pictures of us crossing our fingers, and without thinking, I just took a picture of myself in my work attire, which usually doesn't involve one of these. We work from home for freedom, right, guys? Because, you know, but, yeah, so that kind of was an ongoing joke. Mark Lalonde is naked again. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, I would say, I, I'd say uh, at least uh, a couple, all of us know uh, the uh, uh, Lady Di. Hey, check this out, and she's awesome, and we love her. Check this out. Mark, yeah. tell us about Mark. Okay, I think this is important, Jackson, because everyone I cross, everyone I meet, they're under the impression that I've always been an organized, studious, academic type of guy. I'm, I'm academic. I've done a lot of university and college, but that doesn't mean I was organized or focused. Now, this is the important part. Now, I am laser, laser, laser focused. But I'll give you guys a little a little background of my career choices and well here, to give you an idea I did not grow up in a rich family I actually never graduated from college or university I've got over 10 years of schooling but I never graduated I had 21 jobs by the time I was 25 now these 21 jobs Oh, they, like I said, they were before I was 25, so there's a lot more after 25. So I'm just give you an idea. 25 is usually when people have their blank together a little bit. You have an idea where you're going. So really, really quick, I studied first architectural technology to become an architect. Uh, it was awesome, but sure enough, right before I graduated, I dropped out because I wanted to see what else the world had to offer. Then from there, check this out, guys. I went from being an architect to being wanting to be a chartered accountant of all things. So I mean, I, I took accounting and talk about from one spectrum to the other, right? I sure did. enough, right when I'm about to graduate, what do I do? I draw a boot because I want to see what else the world may offer. So then I go into law enforcement to be a cop. All right. Now we're talking like, can I go another direction? That's how unfocused. I was, and I mean, I, I went all, almost all the way to graduation on all of these gigs. And then finally, in college and university, it was computer engineering to be a computer programmer because I, <laughs> yes, I'm a geek. I must be a geek because I enjoyed it. I preferred programming when I was a kid than throwing the ball around, which is kind of odd because 
I'm kind of an athletic dude, but I really, really enjoy programming, like code programming. It has nothing to do with web stuff. So to make to end this part of my story, I dropped out of that too. I never graduated from college or university. Now, just to give you guys an idea of my lack of direction as far as careers went, wow, that's even worse. Now, I'm not going to list off, obviously, all the 21 jobs I had, but I'll, show, I'll tell you a couple of the industries, okay? So I worked in grocery several times, and I'm talking, these were not part-time jobs. These were career choices. I wanted to get into management in grocery and work my way up. So I did grocery. I worked in warehouses. I worked in uh, movie theaters. I started as an usher, worked my way up the management chain. I even worked as a cartoonist for a living for quite a little while. I worked as a personal trainer, certified obviously, which was my favorite job, by the way. And then I ended up working as a computer programmer, which is what I went on to do as a career. Well, I mean, we could get to that a little later, but what I want to punch out, what I want to point out here is that I was all over the place, guys, all over the place. And something happened in my life that, as Tony Robbins would say, awakened the giant within. Some people would call it like a life event or a profound, you know, a, a, a profound moment, a defining moment, some people would call it. Well, here's the deal. When I was 24, I moved out of my home. I moved out. I, was, I moved out of my parents' home. I, I was there for a while. I was a student, right, studying, half jobs everywhere. And I moved out because of the differences with my dad. You see, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't a pretty picture at home. And this is not a soft story because I know most of you probably, most people have, <laughs> it's not a perfect life. If it is, then you'll be worse off. These things serve us when we have trouble at home. They do. We understand that later, but to, make, to cap up on this, I moved out because of differences with my father. Now, um, that was a lot of weight on my shoulders because I love my father. He's my father. And it took about two years before we reconnected on the telephone and we had decided to, you know, put the past behind us and move forward. And I'm telling you guys, I remember the phone call when I, I spoke to him and I said, I, I have goosebumps just thinking about it. And we were going to meet the next week to have dinner with the family and patch things up. It was like a huge, huge, huge weight was off my shoulders. So here I am the week before this dinner is planned. I'm working in a grocery store. I get a phone call. They tell me that my father passed away instantly from a massive heart attack. So that, the timing, it's, I mean, I'm getting all emotional thinking about it. But the point here is that when that happened, I transformed into another human being. You see, my dad was 54. I'm in my mid-40s, but it was enough for me to know in my mid-20s that life is short. And if I didn't do something, now. So I said, this is it? That I'm telling you, it woke something up inside of me. And we all have that thing. This is not a motivational show I'm trying to do here. I'm telling you what happened to me. Now, here's the deal. I decided I wanted to be a computer consultant. That was the t decision I made. Now, it didn't matter. Everyone told me, you can't do that without a degree. You can't do that without an education. But it really didn't matter what other people thought. It really didn't. What mattered is what I thought. So I rolled up my sleeves, guys. I knocked on doors. I picked up the phone. Within six months, I was a computer consultant, making 100 grand a year with job offers coming in left and right. Do, 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 do. So Wow, it's pretty crazy. So that's just to give you guys an idea of when you're focused, you want to do something, we all have it. Unfortunately, it took an event like that for that to happen to me the first time. So now when I do, when I need to do something, believe it or not, I figure out what it is I want. Like right now, I don't know, a lot of you guys may know I'm hunting 100000 a month, residual. I'm getting there super fast. But you have to know what it is you want. And once you... I won't go into the strategy just this moment, but what I will say is that that was the moment I knew how to do it. I knew how to re get that fire back because once you do it once, so if I if I focus in on something, you know when you watch like Top Gun or something, you're in those fighter planes and they have the the lock, they lock the, they go, I got him locked, I got him locked. Once I got it locked, 
It's over. It's over. So that's yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. jump in, please. No, 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 no problem. Uh, I will. Don't worry. I, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I'm. I'm really digging it, and I know everybody else is as well. I mean, we've got, you know, uh, Renee talking about goosebumps, and I, I can commiserate with her. Um, the thing I wanted to touch on, Mark, you know, uh, what you said there was so powerful. Um, you knew. Uh, by the experience, one of the one of the gold nuggets that you took away from an unfortunate experience of losing your dad, right when you two were ready to reunite, and you know, uh, for a for a guy, you know, there's nothing like uh, acknowledgement and peace with your father, and uh, you know, he was that close, and boom, his dad was dead, and uh, and then you know what he got out of that, what he brought out of that, instead of being negative and rolling up a ball and just, uh, you know, uh, becoming, you know, uh, a, an impotent recluse. Uh, he Instead, it charged him up, and it, re it made him realize that, uh, you know, hey, time is short, and I'm going to do something. Is that is that a correct statement, Mark? Oh, man, you really listen, and you get me. You know, this is the thing, Jack. We got along right off the bat, if you recall. As soon as we started chatting, we clicked, right? Like, we, we really think the same way. You know, you guys, you meet someone and you just know we're going to go. Like, I, I'm telling you, I believe the first time Jackson and I actually spoke over the phone was yesterday. Yeah. Over but, you know, phone. you got a story. What, this is a good yeah. time. I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I'm, well, I'm ready for it, okay? So I, I'm ready. I'm high energy. Go ahead. You know, I was thinking about how we actually met, and you don't remember it. And it's, it would be so embarrassing for you that I think we'll keep it behind doors. I thought about it. You, it, was a, it was a night we were both drinking, and it got pretty crazy, my friend. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, listen, that's, uh, that's even uh, – that's beyond um, – we can't we – can't, we can't – no, that never happened. <laughs> I can't deny or uh, – are, are you sweating, buddy? Are you sweating? No, I don't sweat. I just, uh, I just, I just, I just glow. That's all I do. You know what? Um, okay. I was so. joking. I was joking, y'all. When I met when I met Jackson, he had a, he had a poster of the dude in his in behind him. That's how I actually seeked him out. I was going through the group, and I'm like, that guy's cool. He's got the big Lebowski behind him, and I reached out to him. I go, nice poster, dude. He's like, you like that movie? He's like, I love it. And then I started telling him about how there's a part in a movie where the dude gets his car stolen, and he goes to find his car in the impound, and he goes to the cop. He goes, so he goes, do, do you got any leads? Do you got any leads? And he's like, leads? Yeah, we got the whole team working around the around the area. To find. The, the point was, that's what I thought a lead was before network marketing. When people said, are you generating leads? I'm like, leads? What do you mean leads? Like I'm leads to crime? Like someone took a marketer. Do I get any leads on who killed the guy? Or I didn't even know what a lead was. That's how green I was. Well, so, you, you turned that around, uh, and we're going to uh, hear a little bit about that tonight. Um, yeah, yeah, Mark, yeah, yeah. I, have to, I have to warn you, uh, and, I pre and we appreciate, uh, and, I, and I just want to let you know, um, you know, when uh, somebody comes in as authentic as yourself, pours their heart out, um, to so that you know we know why you're here. Uh, you're here because you care, and uh, you know you can't you, you can't unless you can multiply yourself uh, in this business. You're dead uh, because it's really all about. Uh, it, again, it comes back to community. You're inviting somebody to be part of something bigger than what they're part of. And believe me, you guys, uh, a lot of people are just sitting there watching the boob tube and uh, doing Groundhog Day every single solitary day. You put them into something like this. You put them in where leaders are coming on and they're sharing their top secrets and they're saying, don't you quit. We know the way. We've been there. We started. You can look at their track record and started from A to Z, and that guy's still standing there, and he's still talking to you, and he's still leading the way, and he's still putting hands out. That's what it's all about. You get someone off the boob tube, and you get them into this kind of a high-energy way of life, and you'll have somebody for life. That's how to build a large team. 
Mark, would you agree with that? Yeah, for sure, for sure. I, I uh, that mindset is all everything, but there's also the the strategic part of it that I find. Now, again, I don't want to ruffle any feathers, so I'm not going to say any names. But I find a lot of high high ranked people or high placed people. So, uh, okay, so when I started in this industry not long ago, two years ago, I wanted to know. Because I, I had the mindset, I knew what I wanted, I knew how to focus. That's if you don't have that, you work on that. You got to believe. You got to believe. You got to set a goal. Get the book Napoleon Hill: Think and Grow Rich. If you haven't read it, that's the first thing, right, Jackson? You got to get over that. Your mind has to be right. Like, what, without saying, get that. Get please, just get that book if you haven't. Would Would you agree? Oh, For starters, indispensable. Absolutely. Okay. Framework. So, so, so let's assume you've got that stuff down, which, you're, which you, by the way, you will constantly work on your persistence. You will constantly be fighting your fears. This stuff happens every day. I get, I, I get fears every day, guys. Like those of you who are in MLSP, probably many of you are, live the dream. It's just been announced that I've been selected to go on stage and battle it out with, I'm telling you guys, four other rising stars and then four veteran rock stars. We're talking like Kenya, Eliza. We're talking rock stars here, dude. Would you, and I, would you mind yeah. very much, Mark, if I shared with them the story that you shared with me? Maybe I'll, I'll keep it, I'll keep it uh, PG-ish. But uh, anything I, goes, buddy. Anything goes. Really? Well, no, it doesn't with us. Keep your shirt on. Well, hold on. It's not about my career as an actor, is it? No, no. I okay. fear we'd save that till the closing credits. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so check this out. Um, you know, I mean, sometimes things can sound literally too good to be true. They can, especially when we struggle, especially when we work. And uh, maybe you know, we're comparing our results with others, which we shouldn't. Persistency, action, get your head checked, you'll be all right. That sounded bad, but it's Friday Night Live, just deal with it, all right? Um, but, you know, um, what, what I'm saying is, is that, you know, everybody's got, their, everybody's got their deal. Everybody's shining their light, you know? I mean, the object is to shine the spotlight on others, but you, ha you have to stick up for yourself. You have to not only bring value in the marketplace, but be the value of the marketplace. I mean, or otherwise you're not in the game. But, you know, in that, you wonder, wow, that sometimes it's just like, is that really... That good? Could that really happen? Really? And that's, you know, some people make you do that. Mark's one of those guys um, that makes you go, really? And here's the deal. Really? Really? Here's the advantage. Here's the advantage. Conversation. So some CEO of some major uh, marketing uh, platform uh, calls... Uh, um, Mark and says, uh, "Hey, uh, listen. If I if I didn't see these in the CRM, if I didn't know where these leads were coming from, I I, I just wouldn't believe it." And uh, and Mark oh, yeah. said, "You know what? I I, I it almost feels like I can't believe it myself, but it's true. What I'm telling you is, when this guy says he's making a hundred leads free a day, he's not joking." He's got a formula that freaking just, well, I'm going to be following. I'm going to tell you that. I follow success. And in that, Mark is going to be on stage, live the dream, 30 minutes, rocking and rolling, giving value. He's been invited. They're bringing him down there. Woo! So uh, Mark is a speaker at Live the Dream, you guys. This guy, we're talking, what, eight months here, Mark, because of consistent action and uh, because of what this guy's doing. So all eyes, we're going to get that before it's done tonight. Mark, listen, buddy, um, <clears throat> when we started this thing, uh, and I say this probably too often, people get sick of it, but 
Sorry, guys. But anyways, uh, I said, you know, we're going to ask the leaders the hard questions. And uh, and I try to. I mean, believe me, the Friday Night Live crew knows, okay? We've had some guys, we've had some tears here, okay? We bro we break them down. No, that's not what, that's not the object. But that actually has happened. Um, and, uh, but you know what? My questions are pretty benign. But uh, Christy, I'm just warning you. She's going to come out and ask you some specific questions, and just I just want you to be on your best game, man. You're going to need your you're going to need your Batman tool belt for this, guys. Hey, listen, we love you out there. If you got some questions, uh, think of a question for Mark. You're going to be able to come out live if you choose. Now you can come out live with just your voice, or if you if you're like a marketer and you want to show off your brand, come and uh, come on Friday Night Live and ask this. Uh, uh, this super rising superstar rock star here a uh, a question or two live and uh, it it'll be nice because we like those live questions um, um, anyhow and, and also everybody I hope you know this is Friday Night Live it has soul and man sometimes things get crazy so I hope you brought your hard hat and your protective eyewear because things could you know how it goes down Christy. Kelly, you vision. Uh, we all love you so much. And uh, but uh, why don't you come out here and uh, show this guy what a heavyweight question asker you really are? <laughs> oh my gosh, no pressure, right? <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hey, Mark. Okay, I think I'm gonna go easy with you on the first question. What, what, what's, what's that? You look amazing tonight. Thank you so much. I said that I was going to go easy with you. He never says that. He never says that to me. He never. <laughs> says that. Never. <laughs> you are majorly successful in everything you do. What would you say is your secret sauce yeah. through all of it? Okay, my secret sauce is. Getting a lead is actually easy, and I'll show you guys how exactly I get 100 leads a day. It's not a problem. It's actually very, very, very easy to do. But let me explain something. Okay, let me put it this way. For those of you who play like a video game, for example, uh, I'm not really a gamer, but I remember back in the day you could have a weapon that does this, a weapon that does that. You may have the flamethrower. You may have the gun. You may have the axe. But every now and again, you have a super weapon. You know, in most video games, you have something where it, it kills everything. It's like the super duper weapon or one of those. And usually it's a combination of all the other weapons put into one. A good example is that would be, if you remember Super Mario Brothers, when you eat the mushroom, you're indestructible. You can walk through anything for like 30 seconds. So it's it's like you have, a, you have the, the weapon where... It's the, go it's, it's, it's the secret. It's the key. Now, here's why I'm telling you that. is because MLSP has amazing strategies here, amazing techniques here, this platform here, this platform there. So here's what I do. I look at what I want. Here's what I want. I want to make a sale. I want to make a sale. So what do I need to do? I need to generate a lead from scratch. I need to call that lead. I do it. Are you guys still there? Are you still with me? Hello? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. So here, 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 here's the deal. I joined MLSP with one purpose and one purpose only. It was not to brand myself. It was not to make money as an affiliate. It was to bring people into my MLM. That's what I was working on creating my weapon for, my magical sword from the video game, right? So I look at the Facebook strategies. I'm like, I may need a couple of pieces of that. Uh, I look at Instagram. You know, that might help out. That could help with, like, the gargoyles or whatever. So I'm, I'm using all these little pieces in my magical weapon because trust me, guys, the weapon I use, the formula I use to create this weapon, once I take a swing, it generates a lead for me. It converts that lead into a sale, and that's it. It's that simple. And the more times I can swing that weapon, the more people I get into my MLM. Now, the numbers are pretty crazy, but let me tell you, what the ultimate goal is. Sorry, Christy, this is important because people think that it's all about getting leads. Sorry, guys, it's not. You've got to make a sale. You've got to put someone into mastery or put someone into your MLM or 
There's a third option, put someone on your list in that order. So for me, it's like, do what I can to get them into my MLM, then put them into my into MLSP second, second. I won't get into why MLM is more powerful as far as money goes, but it's hard to make 30 grand a month in a short amount of time with MLSP. It's very easy to do in an MLM. Trust me. Trust me. I'm doing it right now. So I'm just telling you. So the main goal is get a lead, generate a lead from scratch. Well, I'll tell you, generate a lead. You want to get the most phone numbers as possible with my strategy. My weapon requires you to get numbers. I got a strategy to get those numbers too, which I, I'll cover because it's super important. You call those leads and then there's steps within that step. So to generate a lead, there's a bunch of steps. To get numbers from that lead, which you do after, believe it or not, you generate the lead. You do those steps. Once you have the numbers, you call that lead. You have a certain amount of steps to do there. And once you call the lead, they're going to respond with a certain response. They're going to fit into one of three categories. Each of those categories has a series of steps. And once you follow those steps, you're going to hang up the phone and not close. You're going to let them ponder, book a follow-up, call them a second time. I know it seems like a lot of steps. Do you guys want a secret weapon or don't you? This is... This is the weapon. It works every time without fail. And then you do the follow. You send them the info. Do the follow-up call. When you do the follow-up call, they're going to either convert to your MLM, convert to MLSP, or convert to your list. So I close eighty percent of the people I call. Hey, I didn't Mark, say, I, Mark. I didn't say eighteen. Yep. Real quick, real quick. I yep. just want to ask you a question. How many people did you put in your business yesterday? Three. How many put? How many people did you put in your business today? Two. How many people did you put in your business three days ago? Four. Yeah, man. Go ahead. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm bad. In in the month of May, see, the, I, I market myself as the hundred lead a day guy. When in reality, I can generate two hundred without a problem. I'm not bragging because I'll show you guys how to do it. I'm known as the guy who brings 30 people into his primary per month. But what, what they don't tell you is I also bring 30 mastery members on top of that. 30, 30. That's, that's what, but this month we're looking at 60, 60. And it's not, can I just, I'll, I'll just finish real quick. It's not because I'm moving faster. It's because I am refining that weapon, the weapon, those steps. If I sold this in a course, if I package all this, in a set of videos, I mean, it, it's life changing. It's life changing. So, did that? I know I went overboard, Christy, but I wanted you to understand it's not all about generating that lead. It's about generating. It's about it's a no. It's about putting them. It's about making money and helping people. That's what this whole thing is about. And you know what I like? The more money you make is directly linked to the amount of people you help. So I don't even think about the helping people no more because I know it's automatically linked. All I think about is having a larger monthly income. And when I reach 100 grand per month residual, I know I'm helping a lot of people. So all I have to do is take out that magic weapon, swing it as many times as I can every day. And for the record, guys, I do this part time. I do this part time. This is not a full time effort on me. Half of my workout, uh, half of my work hours more towards MLM or MLSP. I have a real business with bricks and mortar and that has nothing to do with MLM. So just so you know, if I can do it, well, you guys are getting a head start. Once I start sharing these strategies, like Jackson, you, I can't believe I'm giving this away for free. Right, things happen like that on Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> did, I, did I answer that question or did I go a little overboard? No, 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 that was, it's fantastic. All right, folks. Uh, anyway, okay, hey, so I don't know what's going on there. This is Bill Moore. I don't know if you know Bill. Bill, this is uh, Mark. Have you met Have you met Mark face-to-face, uh, -face, uh, cyber face-to-face -face anyway? Oh, I scared him. He's a little shy. No, he's not. <laughs> he's from He's from Sugarland, Texas. This guy ain't shy. <laughs> <laughs> Bill. Yes. There we go. 
How you doing tonight, Marilyn, brother? I'm good. How are you, Jackson? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Nice to see you. Nice to have you here. Happy Friday. Um, right. So I don't know. Uh, we're uh, we're we're just we're I think we're waiting on one more, and then Mark is gonna Mark's gonna share some stuff. I don't know where I don't know where Christy went, but let me just check. Mark, I am sorry. This it's normally it's it's not this rough around here. It's just uh, some. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is for you, Mark Lulong. Come on, Bill. Don't get Texas on me, baby. Show us how they do it in the Big D. There's Chris Jeff in this house. Yeah. Pour me a glass of that, my friend. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know why that happens. It's some kind of uh, thing with webinars on air, but we put up with it because we have a lot of fun. <laughs> oh. Hey, Chris or Bill, raise your hands. Uh, one of you got a question for... Uh, the machine this evening looks like Bill does. Bill, take the stage, brother man. Well, I've seen your training on on Twitter. Hmm? How, how you're doing your lead generation and stuff? Yeah. Uh, you also indicated you're doing something on Instagram. Yeah. Well, here's the thing, Bill. I yeah yeah. I, I don't even know if you asked your question. I'll let you finish. <laughs> No, I, I'm just wondering how you're implementing the automation on Instagram, and do you leave your post up or do you delete them and Excellent. recycle those? Excellent question. With well, first of all, I use Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I use different techniques, different content, different intervals on each platform. So specifically with Instagram, I now listen, guys. This is how I do it. Now, I generate, through Instagram, 25 brand new leads per day. So what I'm doing is working. My only goal on Instagram, I need to be clear here, is to extract leads. I'm not building relationships. And I don't want to ruffle any feathers because a lot of people build relationships on Instagram. Yeah. And, then they, and then they get the lead. Here's how I roll. I get the lead. I get on the phone and then I build a relationship. So I get the leads and then I, you understand the difference, right? Yes. It's yes. just because a lot of courses will say reach out, talk to people, take your time, get to know them, and you know, then offer them training. I get all that, but here's how I roll, and I'll tell you because I'm going to tell you exactly how I do it. And I mean, I'm I'm approaching 10,000 followers without even trying. Everything is automated on Instagram with me to make it look like it's real. I'll tell you what I'm doing, but what I do is I have a certain amount of posts that go out. They're all motivational stuff. There's nothing per there's nothing personal, guys. I have a I have a, a software that loads up a bunch of images and it pumps out. You see, April Marie Tucker would kill me right now for saying this. So be very careful of what you do because this, I'm a lead machine for a reason. I generate leads, and then I build a relationship. A lot of people, they bust their brains out building a relationship, then three weeks down the line, the person won't even give you their number. I don't play like that. 
there are billions of people on this planet. I want to go get as many leads as I can because they're not hard to get if you automate them. I'm, I know I'm beating a dead horse with a stick here, but I want you to know that because I do something a certain way doesn't mean you have to as well. I push the boundaries, which is why I'm successful. I push the boundaries. So here's what I do, Bill. I have a software that loads up a bunch of preloaded images. I spit them out at different intervals throughout the day with a call to action to my link, which goes to a capture page. And once all the images are out, I delete all the images and I start over again. I reset the, I reset the lead generation machine is what I like to say. Now, there's a couple of things to keep in mind. I use another software that actually allows me to post comments on random tweets of people who are distributors for MLM companies. Am I, is this making a little, am I going too fast? So no, I, have no. two so I have two softwares running simultaneously. So if you were to ask me, Bill, how's your Instagram account doing? Who, who followed you or who, what's going on on Instagram? You know what I would say? I'd go, I don't know what the hell's going on on Instagram. All I know is that I got 25 new leads from it. Yeah, I, I, I've looked at your Instagram account, and you're right. You've got a whole bunch of followers and everything, but you only got like maybe 10, 15 posts. Well, I recycled yeah. them. I, I believe I only have 25 images. And here's the thing. I use the same ones over and over and over again. And here's something interesting is that someone may see your image once, and go, oh, that's interesting. See it again, and I'll say, hey, I saw that image before. And see it a third time and say, oh, God darn it. I'm going to just click it now. So, But I keep changing them every now and again. And like I said, I get, new, I get two or 300 new followers every day on automation. So my Instagram account is throwing out comments like, I can't screen share right now. but it's, I've, it's got to, I've, got to, I've got to interject just real quick if yeah. I get so rude. Um, because <clears throat> to this point, um, you know, with, with Mark, Bill, uh, you know, one of the things that I learned about him uh, is that, you know, he kind of took, and, and he, Mark, you correct me if I'm uh, misstated here, but he kind of took MLSP at face value, and, and then he took massive action. So... You know, when you look at like he's like, I I don't have a bunch of videos, I don't have a bunch of this, but what he does have, he just takes so much massive action on what it is that he does. I mean, I, I said, Hey, we should get on the phone. And then Mark the secretary, which is one of his personalities, came on and said, Yes, I'm Mr. Mark's professional assistant and uh let me see, I, I might be able to charge you in. I'm like Really? Well, hang on just one sec. And I went, hello, this is Jackson's professional assistant, and he's open all day. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But anyways, no, he's serious. He's, he's taking action, and that is the difference. And I think it's profound. If you miss that, you kind of miss where Mark's coming from. I think that's what dawned on me when I sat down, and I do. Each of these leaders, I sit down on the phone, and, 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 we, and we sit there, and we, we talk. And, and, uh, and Mark and I, like you said, it was, uh, it was a great talk. He's a, he's a fantastic guy, and he's serious about what he's doing. Um, and the action was the thing that I took away. Would you say that's that's what it is, is that you you really are focusing on quality of action more than quantity of anything, and much to your almost surprise, it's like this thing works, and if it works, I can turn up the volume. Am I, am I, am I correct in that statement, Mark? You sure <laughs> are, but what I'm doing is I'm posting my, my steps on your chat right now, steps one through five, because in every platform I investigate, I always, number one, before, I don't build relationships online. I'm sorry I don't. I do those over the phone. First of all, because it's more genuine. Second of all, because you know who you're talking to. And third of all, if someone's going to give you their phone number, you know they're serious. It's I don't have time, no waste. Would you say it's more effective? No, it's more authentic. You qualify them. I don't have time to waste chatting online. I'm building a business here. Do right. you understand that? So I'm not yeah. I'm not a mean guy, 
But if you want to, if you're serious and you want to change your life, I can help you. But you're gonna have to get on the phone with me. Prove to me you're a real. Per if you're not, if you're like, I don't want to give you my phone number. I'm like, well, I have 20 people who do, so I'm gonna go help them. So here's what I do. I why well, I just put them in the chat. Number one, I generate leads from scratch. There's there's sub steps, by the way, guys. I'm just, this is the big picture. Then we can dive into each bullet later. But this is how I roll every single time. I generate a lead. I call that lead. I send them a video. I follow up with that lead. I convert. I convert them into something. Those five steps I do with every single. That's that's all I do all day long. And with this, I could bring in multiple people into my MLM and multiple mastery members per day on part-time hours. So if you don't think that's a magic weapon, and I'm refining it. I'm refining this weapon because this weapon, this weapon is, it, it, it's, it's, it's magic, man. I'm telling you, this is a magical weapon because once you follow this, I'm telling you, if I bundled this up into a course, which I, I will, I just, I'm too busy signing people up. <laughs> uh, it's true. Uh, but yeah, I'm super excited because here's the thing, Bill. Here's what I want to make clear. I, f I follow those steps with every platform. So when I looked at Instagram, I knew that the first thing I had to do was my step number one. Because it's like a metho methodology. It's something I have to do. So whether I'm using Twitter, I have I may use different techniques to get there, but my first goal is to get the lead. Second goal is to call that lead. So you see what I mean? So that's why I use automation because I've tried several things on each platform. As as online marketers, I want you guys to understand that we are actually professional testers. The more you test, um, the, you know I should write this quote. This quote probably exists. But the more you test, the faster you'll succeed. The more you test, the faster you'll succeed. Your speed rate, your, the rate of how fast you'll get there, will you know you'll just get there faster if you test, 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 because it's a testing game. When I did phone scripts, again, I don't want to, I don't want to go into a different area, but what I say on the phone and what you say on the phone, some a variation of a sentence may work better for you because of your tonality because of your voice, because of your natural sense of humor. So I could give you a script that works for me and it wouldn't work as well for you. You figure that out as you go. Have you guys ever heard fail your way to success? Yes. Fail, 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 fail. Well, I'm giving you out oh, my, I gotta be straight up here. There's no way I could give you all the steps in less than two hours. It's impossible. It's, it's physically impossible. Physically, it's, it's not possible. Now, it's not that the Im information is complex because it's extremely simple. It's just, the, and I do it on autopilot, guys. Like, it's crazy. I'm starting to be like, <laughs> what, do you, what do you say, unconsciously uh, competent. There you go, unconsciously competent. All the levels of competency, uh, that's a whole other, but it's like at the beginning, when you don't know what you don't know, at least MLSP shows you what you don't know. You're like, holy crap, I didn't know that. Well, you're already ahead of the game. So now I'm at the point where it's becoming automatic, so I'm refining this stuff. So I know it seems like I over-answered your question, Bill, but it's important to know that a lot of people are not shooting for 100 grand a month. They're just not. It's not in their interest. Now, not only, am I, not only do I want to get there, I am getting there. That's a fact. I guarantee it. The question is, how long will it take me? So in order for me to do that, I need to use a process that puts people into my business and duplicates. And you know what? It makes me famous along the way because I'm finding out that the more famous you get online, the more value you put out there, it works. I didn't know about this. So I'm taking all the nuggets that work and everything. Everything is to get to that 100000 a month in residual income. Isn't it funny how it works? Because we, 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 we decide what it is we want and the how to, it just comes. Because I just affirm the hundred grand a month. I affirm it every morning 20 times. I will make a hundred thousand a month. 
I won't make a hundred thousand a month. I won't make a hundred thousand a month. I won't make. A, and I do that, and the rest, it's almost, it's almost like magic. It really is. You know, and, you know, yeah. you guys, you guys. I gotta, I got, I have to stop you, Mark, because yeah. it's an, it's, it's a USA thing. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The, listen, you know, uh, when you're when you're in a space like this guy's in, um, it's uh, you know, I, I mean, seriously, and we're all headed there. We all have these epiphanies uh, uh, along the way, and Mark is in uh, in a place right now where you know he could, if he fell out of bed, he'd hit his head on a gold bar under the bed. It's just, it's just, that's the way his life. And so he's, he is just on fire. And you know what, here's the, here's the key to that map, if you will. And that is action, longevity, and um, putting it out there. Like you said, you know, you get famous, you know, Mark and I spoke, you know, it's it, it more, it means Put yourself out there to become infamous. Put enough content out there that you're in the marketplace, and it's you uh, that's that's doing it. And then, of course, the guy is a phone. Uh, he's a phone. He's a crazy phone guy. I mean, seriously, it, it's uh, he's like you know. But there's another lead. But there's a phone call. I'm on the phone with him. I was like, wait a minute. I have this time scheduled, buddy. No, I was like, go get him. <laughs> seriously, the guy. The guy, the guy, Billy interrupts me and says, uh, you know, uh, would you mind if I called you right back? I got to close this to the guy. I'm like, I can't believe you're still talking to me. Um, hey, listen, <laughs> it's, a, it's the top of the hour, you guys, and I'm going to close the show off uh, the way uh, I – wait, 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 just wait. Let me finish. Let me finish. We're not done here. Uh, poor the, people, they're probably, they're probably drooling for some more stuff. I know. We're not stopping it if you would just – if you would just – Zip it up before I, I have to get it, like you know. I'm, I, don't make me type over a Facebook to you, Mark. Calm yourself down. Young man. You haven't seen me with my shirt off, buddy. Watch out. <laughs> Actually, I have, and so that that's a it's a fair threat. So, so you know, no, don't pull out the big guns. Hey, listen. Uh, here's the thing, though, because I, I want to respect you guys' time, and uh, you, you, you bargained for an hour. I talked with Mark. He says, I've got more to give. An hour's not going to do it. Uh, would you like to schedule in an extra half an hour? I thought, well, heck, if it's free, yeah, we'll take it. Even if we don't use it, we'll sell it on eBay. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, of course, it's going to be here. Um, but I want to close it off with just this, Mark, and it has to be – we have to keep it short because I want to be able to deliver this in its entirety on Facebook, and it takes an hour, so I don't want to. I don't want to, have to chop this up, and I want to be able to do that because the peeps need the the good stuff. So what I'm saying is, I ask everybody this: uh, we're not going to stop here, you guys. If you've got to go, if if you've had enough, um, then you know, please, you won't be uh, offending us at all. But if you want to stay, Mark is going to get jiggy with it. This is where the gold is, and uh, believe me, the replay will be there. Uh, if you have to go, you're not going to miss a thing. We, we're not going to hide anything here. This is Friday Night Live is all about you, me, Christy, everybody that's here uh, bringing value together because, you know, we all do this thing together. Um, listen, we're going to a lot further, and it's going to be a lot, lot more fun. Mark, here's the question I ask every person that we invite on Friday Night Live, and I'm going to ask you, too, uh, if, you, if you had – uh, if you could never, you boom. Tomorrow you're in a completely different space. I don't know. Maybe you're you're in your own world, and there's your Adam and she's Eve, and you're off to the races, and you're gonna create your own world. But you could never talk to us again. Um, uh, but you you do have a heart to tell the people your story. If you could leave us marketers here with one thing that you think could help us along the way to live in the dream. What would that one thing be? Uh, if you could only choose one, what would you tell people? What would be the thing that you think that would help them the very most to hear from you? I know the answer. I just, you know what? I'm going to say it anyways because I know the answer to that. Um, you're going to have to 
write a paragraph, an affirmation, preferably about four sentences. Repeat it 20 times to yourself every single morning when you're in alpha state, which is basically means when you're waking up. And uh, I don't know, have you guys heard my wake-up call? I did one wake-up call with MLSP about when I was homeless. I don't know if you guys heard of, read, the, uh, listened to that one. I was homeless, by the way, guys. I was sleeping in. Uh, I was sleeping in parks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You, you can't ask yeah. us questions. You can only give us one parting word. Then you can tell us your story. And I normally yeah. wouldn't do this, but I'm serious. Okay. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. You want to do. You want to. For example, here's an affirmation I use 20 times every morning without fail, and it goes like this: Money comes easily and frequently to me. Every single day I receive huge amounts of money. I love money and money loves me. I am a money magnet. I am a money magnet. Take out your thumb, that's once. Take out your index finger, repeat it a second time. Do that 20 times every morning upon awakening. Don't worry about the rest, then go on about your day. Do not miss a day. Do it the first thing when you wake up in the morning. It will take you less than five minutes and talk to me in a month. How about that? I love that. I love that. And please, I hope it didn't come off rude, but I want no, that. It's true. It's true. Lay that will change your life. That is awesome. That is that is awesome. And, and believe me, Mark, you check out Mark's website. Uh, go find Mark on Facebook. If you don't, uh, if you haven't hooked up with this guy, well, hello. Boom. Get that done. Check out his website. He's got some stuff on there. And uh, check out his story. It's awesome. Check out his blog. Um, Mark, listen, uh, we uh, are not going to, we're not obviously going to stop, uh, but I do want to say we've enjoyed you so much, and we're so thankful that you came out and hung out with the Friday Night Live crew tonight. And uh, you're just a very uh, interesting and inspiring man. And uh, we're certainly glad to call you one of the crew now here at Friday Night Live. <laughs>